The Thundercats are loose, baby. Let's go. Geeks was poppin'. Invisible Tiger from Super 7. The Thundercats. So this was originally gonna be a review just of him, and I realized I had never reviewed the original Tigra. So you're welcome, because I had to dig through a tall stack of toys and knocked over a bunch of stuff to get to him. So we're gonna look at this baby and then we'll compare him to the original Tigra. The standard tire comes with the backdrop that comes with almost all of the other figures in the line. But the invisible tiger comes with a highly reflective mirrored one, as you can see my ugly face in there. <laughs> now that is shiny. So everything looks pretty much the same. Now the head sculpts, even though they look very similar, I think they might be a little bit different. When I'm looking closely, the anger head looks a lot angrier, but it could just be because there's no paint. So it's kind of hard to tell, but even if the heads are different, they're like 99% similar, if that makes any sense. Okay, yeah, I know. I just rambled on and said nothing. But you have the angry head sculpt, angry head sculpt, calm, calm, got your body. Then you have the, uh, I don't know what his weapon is called. It's like the stick bolo here, which is hard to see, as well as here. Then you have the extended version behind him, and it's also behind him here, but it's very hard to see because it's invisible. The hands that are to the left and the right of him, on here they ship in the back tray. I'm not sure why they changed that. But yeah, you're basically getting the same figure except invisible. All right, bear with me because I know that the invisible pieces are hard to see. So you do get all the same accessories. Now, I said earlier, I didn't know why they changed the packaging. Now these balls on the end, on the original, were pushed through little holes in the plastic and you had to kind of fight with them to get them through and you can easily rip one of these balls off if you're not careful. Either they re-examined it or people complained. So they changed the packaging to where it was just sitting loose in the back, which is welcome. And also the hands, were stuck through plastic and wasn't a big deal, kind of like if, you're familiar, like if you're familiar with Marvel Legends, the way Hasbro does stuff, they just kind of pop out the plastic. These came in a little indentation that wasn't form-fitting with a cover on it, more like uh, Mafex. And you just take the cover off and they fall right out. So which do I prefer? I prefer this package. Major difference here in the whip form, you have like a soft bungee string here on the original. They didn't do that on the new one because they probably would have had to make the string white and it would have stood out. So they did like a clear rubber bungee. So it's just as clear as the handle and everything. And I think that's a really good decision that they made. Be aware that this guy is stinky. <laughs> he does not have that new car smell. I don't think I've ever smelled this on a plastic toy before, but if you get close to him and take a whiff, no bueno. The sculpting is the same, it's basically the same buck, and I don't know for sure if it's identical because they had to somehow make it clear. But, everything that's on the original is on the new one. Down to the little buttons on his caps, I think that's pretty awesome. Now his Thundercat symbol is a little bit thicker than I remember being on the other ones. And on the original, I can see his paint is a little messed up here. If you're going around 
the line of his outfit. You can see some darkness. I don't know if it's from under there if the original was a gray scale, but you can see like dark color coming through and bleeding through the orange there. Now he has a wash on his abs and his pants and a wash on the, a little bit of wash on the back. So as always, the paint job on these things, really good. Super 7 knows how to make an action picker look good. And as soon as I say that, I see this seam right here where orange is bleeding through. But overall, tight work. Don't have to worry about paint job on this guy. Well, a little bit. He's got white paint, frosty like. It actually looks fantastic. It's nice and clean. The white eyebrows around the eyes really makes it stand out. Another thing you'll notice about this, a lot of translucent figures, usually the pegs and stems on the inside are very, very distracting here. They managed to minimize it. You can barely see them. Like his leg pegs there, you gotta look for them. A lot of times I think like with the uh, Marvel Legends, Susan Storm, the pegs are like a darker color so you can see them through. But this is great. Now his body is frosted and opaque, but his limbs are absolutely clear. Not sure why they did that. Maybe there are more stems and pegs in here to see and they thought it looked ugly. Doesn't take away from the figure because I think it looks great. I have some more bad paint here and I actually got a chip in his armband, like it got crushed or something. Usually the QC is a lot better on these things. So one thing I want to call out on the Invisible Tigra is that his limbs are a little bit looser, especially his wrist, his right arm. No matter which hand I put in there, it's a little loosey-goosey. When he was holding his whip, it kept flipping. Now this hand isn't as bad as the other gripping hand. I always struggle to tell the difference with these Thundercat hands because these look almost identical to me. But yeah, one fits tighter than the other. So look out for that. So this is the invisible angry head sculpt. Man, we need an Iceman like this. And here is the not so angry head sculpt. Man, it looks so cool on camera. All right, so you get a full 360 there. Oh, look at that hair. The sculpt looks cool. This man, this action figure is pretty dope. Head tilt is very slight. Almost not, it almost isn't notable. So I'll do it in real time for you. And he barely looks down. That's yeah, straight ahead. Doesn't look up much either. So you don't get a lot of range on that head. Oh, I was trying to put a backdrop in to see if you can see him better, but that does not work. I tried three different colors. This is what you get. Arms get up yay high. Hug range is good, but you're invisible, so watch who you creep up on. Wingspan like so. Single jointed elbows. You don't quite get 90 degrees because of the biceps. Do you get a 360 at that shoulder though? And 360 at the bicep, as well as 360 at the wrists. Vertical hinges give you a repulsive blast and a kiss the ring. Ab crunch forward is slight. I'm so icy. How about that Wiley kit way back? Better range than going forward. Split range is cat like. That's a good thing. Van damage is sick, although hindered a little bit by the rubber pants. Didn't want to get up there, had to work with it. Snarf, snarf. Bend over is non-existent unless you're gonna flare those legs outwards. Of course, that affects the kick range. No thigh cuts yet. Still 1997. And, oh, I thought we would get a turn here at the calf, but we are not. You do get a 360 up there at the thigh joint though. And for the foot, you also get a 360. Single jointed pin knee gives you no range whatsoever. We can't even pretend that he's a prancer. We can get by calling him a dancer though. And the feet are on rockless. Rockless. All right, so what I think, par for the course for Super 7 Thundercats line. Their articulation is piss poor but I'm not gonna knock off points for that because we all know it. If you're buying this Thundercast line and you've gotten any before, you know that you're not gonna get modern articulation. You buy these for the accessories, for the sculpt, for the look, and for the overall quality. They look on the shelves, just don't expect to get dynamic poses out of them. Now, as far as the translucency or the invisible feature, 
I think it's the best implementation I've seen of this effect on an action figure, so it gets major points for that. Very rarely do you get one where you barely see the inner joints and workings without it being ruined. They frosted in the right places, they made it clear in the right places, and they made the pegs short enough where they're not obtrusive. So I think it's dope. So if you're into the Thundercats line, even if you already have Tigra, I'd say it's worth getting this one because even though everything is the same, it's totally different. All right, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's have a conversation. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I didn't post for like a week. As usual, I've been super busy. But again, thanks for all the support. We just hit 3,000. Let's keep it going. Till next time, geek out.